time. If you don't get up before nine, you won't see that. We're here at 20. Then we spend the bulk of the day above 32. Today we got to the freezing mark. Tomorrow is going to feel like spring. This is where we should be this time of year. And then we get to nine o'clock at night. You are free and clear to do whatever you want outside until about nine. I'll show you why. There's some big changes coming our way. Two pieces to the wind puzzle. Wind piece number one happens Saturday evening, 60 mile an hour gusts. And then on Sunday, wind switch around and hit the north town. Let me show you what we're watching here. This is going to be a very significant uh, wind storm for a portion of the southern tier. Now it's beautiful all day on Saturday. This is the guy that's coming in here and right around nine o'clock. That's when we start to see the rain approach southern Erie County or I should say our southern tier by Erie, Pennsylvania. Now the gusts and the rain will come in. They'll coincide at the same time. You'll know it when it gets here because this is not a light rain. This is going to be a very heavy soaking rain for a number of hours. The worst of the winds happen Saturday evening. Look at the winds racing out of the southeast down sloping right along the lake. Then the winds switch direction and come up to the north town. So the north towns will be very windy on Sunday. This is what we're up against. It's a very unique feature where you have the topography here of the southern tier and then it slopes downward as it does. The winds will pick up speed 60 mile an hour gusts and this traditionally has an issue with tractor trailers getting tipped on their sides. It's likely that the 90 may close that down for a time tomorrow for some of the truck travel and also the power lines. This is another one. Look at the region that was going to be affected by this. Not as strong as the last time, but boy, it could be one that causes a problem for a number of communities during the day from Saturday night into Sunday. Temperatures will be warmer on Sunday, but I'll guarantee you everybody's going to want to be outside on Saturday, given the choice. Two cold ones, then we make a comeback as we get into Wednesday and Thursday. Set your clocks ahead Saturday evening. Lose an hour, and if you're going to go we skiing, do. Saturday's the day to do it. It is. Right? That's the day to do it. That's the one. All right. Thank you very much, Andy. Sure. Hey, we could talk about AB, but there's more important things to talk about. Yeah, like, like fish fries and UB basketball. <laughs> exactly. So everybody in Western New York, they were getting a fish.